internet mateys ready to set sail for a new episode of Ask Iggy? Well, drop anchor, because we're... I've got, uh... Wow, I am already out of nautical puns. This did not work at all. I've got a ton of new medical and science questions to get through today. And remember, if you have questions of your own, you can send them to me on Twitter, at Iggy DeLacy. Okay? Let's do this thing. Nuclear Liz asks, what advice would you give to a male colleague on how he could encourage more women to enter STEM fields? Now, that's a great question, Liz. And I'm not just saying that for fear that you could melt down at any moment, rendering your area uninhabitable for decades. Because you're nuclear. I think the first and most important thing men can do to encourage women going into research or anything else is to listen to what they have to say. Too often guys tend to act like they already know everything and don't value input from female friends and colleagues. Like take this video for example. It's about women in STEM and here I am, a man, just blathering for over a minute without taking even a second to actually include a woman's point of view. Of course there aren't any women in my room to offer their own opinions right now or ever recently as well if you're already a professional in science and engineering and you meet an up-and-coming woman with some real talent consider mentoring them and sharing some of your experiences i recall a certain brilliant young pre-med student that i helped along not long ago her name was debbie and i wonder what happened to her you didn't think i meant victoria right no she didn't need my help the first day i met her she was so bored in class she made glasses for her nearsighted dissection frog they actually worked but they kept falling off because frogs don't have ears, so. Well, anyway, I'm probably needed back in the lab, but send me more of your questions for next time or I'll send you to David Jones' locker. Arr! Yeah, I had one more left. I was saving it for the end. It's called showmanship.